Night Collective. <laughs> Welcome back to another reading. Oh my lord. Gosh. I'm not even ready. So before I do this, um, I don't know if you want me to say your name or not, so I'm just not, just in case. But again, thank you so much for getting me this deck. That's fucking crazy. Um, we are going to be using it in this reading. <laughs> I'm... I'm flabbergasted. I really am. Thank you so much, seriously, for getting me this deck. Um, it's beautiful. I love it. And just, oh my god, like thank you. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna jump in. Um, to the message. And I, I'm gonna. Mm, well, I'm gonna like release a bunch of gas first apparently get my vessel empty for this message <laughs> but also um i will not be throwing my decks around like that <laughs> i will um be peacefully getting up my decks no but i'm also going to be working on that video for my story here soon um because i owe it to you all as well um thank you all again just for 10k like it it blows my mind that we're already here, um, and for a bit of, like, information, I started doing readings, actually, like, you know, on YouTube, like, last year, October, I want to say 17th, and it's just been a crazy ride with me, God, my ancestors, and now all of y'all, so, just, like, thank you all so much, um, count this as like part one of two my my story being part two but this is part one of my thank you for you we're gonna use all the decks that i have <laughs> so get ready um this is something i've been wanting to do for a while is use all my decks in one reading see what happens um And I have more now, so it's like, ooh. But we're going to use all the decks. We're going to see what Spirit has to say. Um, but we're going to get standard. We're going to start off with this Voice of Souls Oracle. I'm going to name all the decks off, too, in case you do want them. But I'm going to start with the Voice of Souls Oracle. I'm even going to show you the box, too, because fuck it. Why not? Um, show and tell, right? Um, but we're going to get in and see what Spirit wants you to know from a soul level. Oh, my goodness. Forgiveness. Submission and love. Aww. I just heard you're forgiven. I just heard you're forgiven. And we have children on the bottom. We have submission, love. After that. 303 could be significant. 33. Significant. 19. That's significant too. That it's that equals up to like 1. 10 uh, if you want to be it, one if you want to go all the way but 10 uh normally <sighs> yeah i feel like these are these are actions that you've done you've learned how to forgive you've learned how to submit and you've learned ooh, how to love almost mirror effect with 13 so three 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 and two ones I'm gonna shuffle two more times. Spirit. Soon flipped out and looked me in the eyes and then went, nah, just kidding. Repression in reverse. I'm gonna get one more spirit. Loss. So, wow. And happiness on the bottom with the guide on the split. We love it. I'm gonna keep happiness on the bottom. So, you've forgiven someone. You submitted to the power of love. Um, and you're you're marrying an effect um you, your things like these people <sighs> we're going here so the people that did are have been doing these things to you um past present future it resonates for all um but everyone that has come up against you um hasn't really repressed how much they don't like you due to what they've done to you all the things they made you lose 
So you're you're mirroring the non-repression. You're no longer being repressed. You're no longer having things hidden from you. Um, everything that was held back is coming back to you. Meanwhile, everyone is receiving loss. Um, that's the big thing. You're happy. They. That's. I think. I believe that truly, from the bottom of my heart, I truly think that you being like unhappy was just the goal of everyone. Like people just didn't want to see you happy. People wanted to see you upset and like crying for some reason. Like what the fuck. I ooh, uh, someone says that you're acute when you cry, and I don't like that projection. You can keep that shit over there. <laughs> I want I want Michael to protect me in a white light. I know I said that in the shower, but I want him to protect me in a fucking bubble of white light to keep all energies away from me, all hooks, all ties, anything, because this shit ain't rocking with me. I don't want no weirdos clamping to me before I go to bed. Okay. <laughs> But everyone is going through loss and repressions in reverse. The mirror effect is they wanted you to be hidden and you're not. I don't think that these people's losses are going to be hidden either. Um, who are we going to start off with? Sorry, hold on. I literally just got out of the shower and I'm using a cover, a literal like bed sheet <laughs> to keep my hair in. So excuse me if I'm like fucking around with it oh my god what's the vibe what's the vibe what's the vibe so the card that literally flopped well two cards that literally popped out is sipping in lust someone's just spreading rumors about you because they're very lustful about you um they're greedy they want you they want to know what you're doing how you're doing it um they're instant they're inconsiderate they don't give a fuck um, which is why the universe is going to come at them the way that it is. Um, these people wanted to see you tore down and sad by any means necessary. This is such a weird, it's like, it's cursed. Me saying that was like almost cursed. Y'all ever held like a cursed item before and you get that buzzy feeling? That's what I almost felt out of those cards. Like someone was trying to curse you and you cut ties with this person. And the chaos is on their side. They're like, they're smelling the roses. It's like, oh, so our life is shit, but Collective's life isn't. Yeah. But, like, you cut ties. You awoke. You were awoken. You were awoken. They're just people who wanted to see you down, like, fall. Um, you had to slow down a bit and, like, smell the roses and you know, actually get out and, like, be like, fuck. Like, so everyone's just mad at me because I'm doing good yeah um but it was time for you to realize that um spirit always wanted you to stay busy spirit always had something like new for you to do like a new job offer or like you know something to keep you busy always like spirit always wanted you to have like something to just focus on because God and spirit knew that you were destined for the greater and I feel like the big, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> I feel like the big um, gig, the big haha -ha moment for God is that he's built up this audience for you. No one, want, you didn't really have an audience of people uh, who wanted to be around and watch you. So God, in a sense, rallied up a bunch of people. Um, most of them chose, well... Almost all of them, let's just be real, chose to hate. Um, because they were two-faced, and they just want to see you isolated and shattered. Because they're fucking toxic. Thank you, spirit. But now it's like the haha -ha moments here. Every, like, that's your audience now. These are your fans, um, to say the least. Which is a weird thing to say. These are like... The simp card from... <laughs> the rose iconics popping in my head but these are people like that have to just watch you they don't have well first of all they don't have to um they're just addicted to it which is weird um but god has got this audience of people that that poked at fun at you that laughed at you that pointed their finger and went haha -ha, without realizing that there are three fingers pointing back at them um, 
And those three fingers are like their insecurities, um, their disbelief, um, and just their toxic behavior towards you. And it's everything is just blown up in their face now. It's like, oh, here you are doing good. And here they are at a worse place than when they first met you. But it's not your fault. They want to blame someone other than themselves because they themselves can't handle responsibility. This is why a lot of people that if they did have gifts and they came up against you, they're losing those gifts. Like the feng shui, they're, they're in, the masks that they could put on in front of people and parade, they're losing them because of this. Um, nothing, it's, it's, I don't know, it's karma for one, but these people are losing a lot more than they think, a lot more than they'll ever truly know, and it starts off with just respect, it starts off with trust, and it starts off as well with responsibilities. People are just going to see these people as non-responsible, as just non-emotional, just people that don't, whew, spirit really, deserve a place um, at anyone's table. Um, really, I just heard the rejects table. Um, that's where they thought you belonged. Um, but you're one of a kind. You're on your own for a reason. You're different. And apparently that's like a, that's, oh, ha, ha, ha. Like, look at you, but you're, but you're different. You're supposed to be showing these people, um, who they could be, but they'd rather you confine to them, um, just as it is hard for them to be like you, it is hard for you to be like them. And they that's something that they don't comprehend. Um, they don't use much of their brain, which is not an insult. It's just the truth. They don't think. They don't do things um, that you do, collective, that we do. They don't... <laughs> they don't think. Um, and I always say, like, you know, don't think, just know. But these people, like, they don't like their thoughts. They don't, they've gone through so much bad that the first thought that comes to their head is bad. This is, this is them thinking now. Um, they think that doing these horrible things, um, will stop you. You know, it, it hasn't. So not only are they just scared of you. Not only are they pissed off at you, not only are they blaming you, but they're watching you and they're crying and they're, they're all these emotions, frustrated, they're in turmoil, they're regretful, they're ashamed, they're embarrassed because they couldn't just tell you the truth. They might have like, oh, look, look at, look at you. Like, look at you go. You're doing so good. But they would like laugh and snicker behind your back. And now it's like that, that joke isn't funny. That joke's not a joke. Look at you go. Look at how far you've come. And it scares these people. Because this is the same tactics that were put onto them by people around them, and it let them stop them. And they don't like that. Because it really, it puts into perspective how weak-willed they are, and it puts into perspective how strong you are. And how they counted you out because they just thought you were weak not seeing not they seen what you went through and just thought oh you'd just be an easy thing to push over rather than oh you've gone through a lot and you're still here and alive and you're still moving word i don't know what to fuck with you like you've you've put it's in it's an energetic barrier that you've put up against these people they can't fuck with you they're scared of you actually they're they they would, they would, they would like jump off a bridge before they had to look you in the eye. They are terrified of you because you're not dead. 
Um, you haven't given up. You haven't failed. Um, and you just keep doing things. They think you're mindless. They think you're stupid. They think, but they know that you're. Cre- they know that like you're the one. And it's like fuck. How can I? I like. How can I make myself look as good as you? Is the projection that comes up? How good? How can I be just as good as you? You just keep going. And that's the name of the game. Life's not gonna fucking wait for you. And these are things that they joked about in front of your face. These are things that they told you and thought that, oh, you'll never get that because you're, you know, you don't think like that. Y- you're right. We don't think like that. Um, collective, we're very intelligent on our own regard. It doesn't matter how well spoken we are. It doesn't matter how we dress, um, our accents, if we have slurs or speech impediments. It doesn't fucking matter, dude. Those things are vessel issues. We're all souls at the end of the day. Unless you sold it, then you're just nothing. Ta-da. Um, but I digress. But a lot of people just look at you and they 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 they're pissed off because it's like they don't believe in God. But now you're living proof of God being a thing. So then they look at God and be like, why the fuck am I not like that? And it's like, well, it's not because they don't understand. They don't get it. They think they don't. They call you crazy because your faith and then it works out. And then they like point out that, oh, I, I, guess, I guess you really are just a fucking special one, huh? And it's like, well, yeah, but why do you have to be so mean about it? Why I gotta be so rude? What's going on? Are you okay? Like, are you, like, let's talk. Let's have a one-on-one and get to the bottom of it. Like, what the fuck's wrong? Tell me. That's all you, that's all, that's literally, I've even made a reading about this before. That's all you want to know is, like, what's wrong? Like, tell me what's up. Talk to me. Like, why? Why all this death magic? Why all this black magic bullshit? Why? Why these mental games? Why the abuse? Why the turmoil? To make yourself realize that you're weak? To put yourself down? To hurt yourself? Why are you hurting yourself? Explain. And they can't. Because if they had to explain, it would just be... Oh, well, it's, I just don't like you. You just piss me off. Why? Yeah, I just, you just do. It's just you. I don't know. Just you. I don't like you. Just whatever. It's like, okay, cool. You don't have to like me. But that doesn't mean you have to, like, go to the furthest extent and prove to everyone on this god great earth that you're pathetic and you don't need anyone around you. This is... I don't know if y'all were told this in elementary school. Um, but I was a lot and it comes to show like how often people care. I was, I was, I was country raised, um, in like Appalachian. So don't get me started on shit, but I was told all the time, every single day in school, I was told the golden rule, treat others how you want to be treated. And I was told it doesn't matter what anyone thinks of you because you can do whatever the fuck you want. And I guess that goes in one ear and out the other for some of these people. Because instead of actually taking that advice and doing something with their life, they tear someone else down because they think it's easier. And yeah, maybe it's been easier because you meet people who are on the same mental level as you, as the same emotional level as you, people who are also very easily pushed down, people who are also just, lack a better term, rejects. Because you reject people. That makes you a reject. Because you reject help. Makes you a reject. That doesn't mean that you're like an unlovable and untouchable person. That just means you refuse to do it. You reject it. You're a rejecter. You're a reject. That's how words work. So, of course, Collective gets things. Because Collective loves himself. Because Collective wants to help. Collective is a helper. Helpers get help. Rejects get rejected. You get a, You have a mutual respect with the universe. A mutual respect with the universe. The universe loves you. You love the universe. God loves you. You love God. 
these people hate God because God hasn't been there hasn't been there for them and I'm feeling called to say this despite so a lot of these people have either had near death experiences or family members that could have fucking died or a bunch of just bullshit pop up like guns held up to their heads and shit and they're like dear lord save my life and God saves them and then this is how they repay God back for saving them of course God's gonna turn his back away from you and just let it happen this time of course he's gonna do it tenfold he's gonna do it because your dumbass decided to sit back and do this to someone who God placed into your life to make it better because of that one incident that happened. But because you're so high and mighty, because you're so materialistic, because you think that you're better, God had to put you in your place. And then you blamed it on the person that God sent. Because you just didn't want to put blame where it belonged, which is on yourself. Collective took the blame that they had. And they held it dear and they healed from that shit. And they didn't fight back. But you just didn't get your satisfaction of your narcissistic will to, oh yeah, well, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know what? I, like, no one has time to fight. No one gives a fuck about you and your emotions for a reason. Because you can't handle them. Because you can't control them. Until you can control your emotions and your energy, no one's going to fuck with you. That's the rule of the nature, honey. Do you think people like chaos? Do you think people like chaos? No. People will distance themselves from people like you. People will avoid you because you're disgusting. And I'm not here to piss no one off. I'm here to say it as blunt as it needs to be said. Because God's given me these messages for y'all. And it's going to make some people mad and make them click off the screen, but that's the truth. You're pathetic. You're gross. You're stupid. Why are you doing this? Because you're upset? Because you're a little piss baby? Cool. No one cares. You act like a child when you're like 37 years old? No one's gonna care. Unless you actually have a full on disability that prevents you from doing that. No one cares. Everyone has their own shit to worry about. You can clear your mind about these people collective. Because these people are stuck in their own little cycle. I talk about it a lot. The death circle that ants do. They can only see in 2D. And whenever one ant starts walking in a circle, they all follow because they think that they're going somewhere. And they walk in that circle till they fucking die. And that's what these people are going to be doing. It's their choice. They choose not to look outside the box. They choose to do the same shit over and over and over again. So of course they're not going to go anywhere. Of course they're going to live a miserable life and wonder why is it, oh, why me, why me? Because they don't want to heal. They can't heal. They don't know how to heal. So what they do to the healer, they abuse the healer because they think that that's how you heal. No, child, no. Just because your mom and dad abused you just because your friends and family abused you does not mean that's how you heal. You're disgusting and you feel bad for it too. And I know you do. I don't care how narcissistic you are, but it keeps you up at night for at least 30 fucking minutes. You sit there and think and you turn your brain off. You try to turn your brain off every night and it doesn't work. You sit there with those thoughts, you get pissed off, you go do your crutches, and then you sleep. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, Mama, but I used to be in that same position too, and that's exactly what y'all do. I, I might not have been a narcissist, but I used to be someone that didn't accept accountability for my actions, and that's the same shit I'd do. I'd play makeup scenarios in my head. Oh, I'm going to get them back by doing this. I'm going to get them back by doing that. You're disgusting. Coming from someone that's left that energy, that's pathetic. Disgusting, low vibrational shit. You need to heal from it. 
These are words I would have loved to hear back then because I knew something was wrong with me, but I had no one around me to tell me. So I'm gonna be my, I'm gonna be me, my me, my, my me right now to all my past versions of me or all to the versions of me that need this advice. Quit doing that. Quit thinking about hurting someone's feelings to make yourself feel better. Quit trying to get back at someone. You're weak as fuck. And you're pathetic. On top of that, there is no need to get back to anyone. No one owes you shit on this earth. You are born by yourself and you will die by yourself. Those are the two promises that you have on this God green earth. So if you have anyone who comes towards you with a smile on their face and they genuinely fucking mean it, you best fucking buckle down and you best do your damnedest to make sure that person don't leave their life. Because the second that person gone, you ain't ever going to meet someone like that again. That is your golden ticket to get at that dumb cycle that you put yourself in. And a lot of people failed that test. A lot of people. And I gotta get it real. It's hey, I gotta keep it a buck. I gotta keep it a buck. That's the epiphany. That's why they're pissed off too. Because these narcissists know. They know. They fucking know. They always know. But they're clingy. They want you to cling on. They don't, they're like, oh, well, if you know that I'm such a bad person, just come back to me. No. That's the thing. We're going to be the first to show you truly how fucked up you are. Collective, we meet, we are the nicest people on this earth. Hands down. I don't matter who you tell. I don't care if you agree with it or not. I don't care if you cross watcher and say, no, you're not. Collective is the nicest, most pure hearted, most childlike people on this earth. And if you can look at someone in the eyes and say that you don't deserve to hit a child, would you do the same shit to it and you if you can look someone in the eyes and say that you don't like a child abuse but you abuse someone's inner child it's the same fucking thing I don't care I don't give a fuck it's the same thing because to heal an inner child takes years of work it takes a lifetime of work for a lot of people to heal what the inner child has gone through, to heal that abuse from people that were supposed to protect you, to heal that takes a while. And you're going to come up to a child and you're going to abuse them again. It's pathetic and gross. And you wonder why people still hit their kids. It's because their inner child still hasn't healed. And they feel like the, the best reaction out of their anger is just to go beat someone or go call them names or fucking do whatever the f do whatever these people do because that's what that happened to them. Oh, my mom called me a worthless piece of shit, so I'm going to make you feel like one too. No. My mom beat me with a belt with metal bumps on it. Do you see me going around beating people with people with metal bumps on it? No, I don't. Learn to do better. Learn to do fucking better. I had a family member pull a gun on me. Do I pulling guns on people? No. Do fucking better. You think you think you know it all. You think you look at someone you can tell what they've gone through. No, you can't. You're pathetic. And I have to say it from the bottom of my heart. Cause these it's like it's gross. And it's got to end. I don't know why this mess has got to be the 10K subscribe like special, but it it got to come out because that's the message God's given me to say. And I'm not gonna hold it back. You can get mad. You can tell me to calm down. I am calm, <laughs> very much. So y'all know the ones who know know what happens when I get upset. I am calm. I am just blunt. These people envy your glow up. These are families. You just have people looking at you. They know what you've gone through. Fuck, everyone knows what you've gone through. People talk about you. People have always talked about you. Always. You've always been the topic of discussion. People just can't quit talking about you. Frankly, let's just get a buck. 
You know, no, when someone walks up to you, they don't talk about anything. They don't have anything to talk about. So they go hang out with you. Oh, I love Collective. Oh, I hate Collective. Who gives a shit? Do you talk about people? No. <laughs> Maybe not like they do. <laughs> Let me leave it at that. But you... You're something to talk about. Whether positive or negative, it don't matter. Your name's been a hot topic since day one. This is going to be a long-ass video. We have Apology, Consequences, and Tension. These bad choices got them stressed the fuck out. People want to come and apologize to you. It's not even. Here's the thing. Here's the funny thing. It's not even just because you're a child of God. It's not just because of that. People are stressed out about you because they know that you're the one genuine person. And whether you tell any, like here it is, they're slipping out, karmics. Because even if you dare talk about these people or not, they're going to know the reason you're not around them is because they have ill intent. And that alone ruins their reputation. A reputation that these people have put masks and plaster over for 15 plus years. Trying to master their, their perfect look. Just for it to be destroyed by someone like you. And that's a projection. I don't know why the fuck that voice came out like that, but that is a full on projection. But these people don't like that. That you, the one that didn't do anything back at all, you prove to them truly that you don't have to do shit to people. Life will take care of the good ones. Yeah, bad shit happens to good people. Bad shit happens to bad people. Bad shit happens to people in general. We're on earth. Wake up. You don't get a get out of jail free card for being a good person or a bad person. You suffer. Everyone has to suffer. It's earth. It's school. School is hell. Hell is suffering. We're here to learn. And either you learn the easy way or you learn the hard way. And we had to learn some pretty fucking hard lessons, but we took it the easy way. We went the hard way and that shit didn't work out. We seen where it was leading us. We seen that if we went the hard way, it would have led us into our own grave. And we switched it up. We said, no, nah, fuck that. We, we ain't going the hard way no more. We're going to go the easy way. I don't know who I'm channeling, but thank you for those um, warm hugs and feelings. Thank you. I very much needed that. Um, but <sighs> these people want to go the hard way still. Oh, I'll just bull through it. It's fine. No, there's no bulling through it anymore. That's why they're scared because you're the last chance collective. It wasn't a coincidence that they met you. It wasn't a coincidence that you met them. You needed to grow. They needed to heal. You grew. They didn't heal. They're scared of you. They're scared in general. Why you? Why does God send the nicest person to me just to ruin my life? Is how they're thinking. They're confused. They're puzzled. They don't understand. They had their head in the clouds. Thinking that they were established and thinking that they could just throw you because you're at rock bottom. No, baby, we're all at rock bottom. Why the fuck you think we gravitated towards each other? We were all on our last leg. And either we pick ourselves up together or we pick ourselves up by ourselves. But first, you got to pick yourself up a little bit first. You can't pick up someone if you're laying on the ground. You got to at least get in a kneeling position to help. You at least got to get your legs good. At least they had the fun time. Remember that in all ways. Truly, at least these people had a fun time. No, I'm not talking about having a fun time bullying you. I'm talking about before that shit even happened. I'm talking about the first genuine moments when you met these people. Where none of this weird shit was going on. None of the spell work. None of the, the harassment, the bullying, the gang stalking, the spending money to bully people shit. I'm talking about the genuine, oh wow, I'm having fun. At least you all had those moments. I'm gonna get teary out, I'm gonna cry. 
Because mama, let me tell you, <laughs> the emotions are real up in this shit. And I'm an empath, so I like to cry and get rid of my emotions and I'm all I'm in. But at least you had those moments. And that's the thing. You cherish those moments. Even though these people did all they did to you, Collective, you cherish those moments. You're just confused on why they did it. It don't... It don't make sense. As a child, it didn't make sense for your parents to hit you when you didn't know what was going on, and these people did the same thing. It didn't make sense. Why are you doing this? What's wrong with you? What did I do? It's not your fault, first of all. Because that's what the mindset was. Let's just be real. It's not your fault. God's rejection is your protection. Just remember that. I pray for these people, I really do, because they know not what they've done. They know not what they do. They can't, some of them can't help it. Let's just keep it a buck. Some of these people can't help, they can't heal. They've been abused so much in their life that like it's hard for them and that's perfectly fine, but you go to therapy, you take your medicine. I don't give a fuck if you come at me and say, oh, you don't need medicine, yes you do. If someone needs medicine, don't you dare tell them that they don't. People need different things. Okay? Let me leave it at that. Just because you think, like, oh, you don't need medicine because, like, the earth can just heal you. No, you can't just go outside. If you're depressed and you go outside and it still keeps you depressed, that's a lie, honey. Okay? Some people need medicine. Some people need therapy. Some people need both. Some people need none. Some people need evaluations. That's perfectly fine. I've gone through therapy, I've gone through medicine, I've gone through evaluations. I've gone through it all. And here I am. Standing tall, standing good. Because I put in the work. Because I didn't want to end up unhealed. I wanted to heal. I said, fuck it, I'm tired of feeling shitty all the time. I'm tired of feeling depressed. I'm tired of acting like my life isn't falling apart. Let me heal. I said, Lord, let me heal. Lord gave me ample time to heal, and I healed. I didn't heal fully. No one's going to heal fully until... Listen, <laughs> listen. <laughs> you think we, you think someone can fully heal? Nah. <laughs> Every waking morning of this earth challenge, school fucking TV show, whatever the fuck you want to call it, you, you heal from the second you sleep when you're asleep and then when you wake up you heal him that's part of the game that's part of the thing so of course yeah but you have to put the first steps to heal and we're not talking about oh I'm gonna heal from yesterday whenever I kicked my stuff my toe on the door and piss, got pissed off and punched a hole in the wall no we're talking about I'm gonna heal from when my parents first struck me I'm going to heal from the first time that someone ever said something they mean to me. We're talking about, I'm going to heal when I was five years old and I was struck across the face for no damn reason. I got to dig down and understand what the fuck was going on and why that even happened. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about why I was abused. I'm like, this is an example for some of y'all. I'm not, I'm partial yes, partial no, y'all know what I mean. Like, I'm going to go back and heal from whenever I was 15 and I was still getting hit. While when I was 20 and people still wanted to punch me and hit hit me. When I was 30 and my boyfriend started hitting me. Shit like that. I got to heal through that. Yeah, you do. That shit's fucked up. No one deserves that. Let's keep it a bean. No one fucking deserves to get hit or abused at any age for any reason. But these people do it. And it's not your fault. But they don't, they don't understand that. They, they're scared. Those, that's a scary part of their life. Of course they're scared. They have every damn right to be scared. Whenever I started my healing journey, I couldn't meditate for more than five minutes without shaking and shivering. I would literally have convulsions on my bed, like scared as fuck. Almost having seizures because of how like 
scared I got. Shit's not fun. It is not fun at first. Let me tell you, it's terrifying as fuck to heal. But the more you do it, the better you get, and the easier it becomes. And I know I get up here and I like, I poke fun and all this sorts of shit, because you need to. And the laughter is medicine. But let's get real for a minute, you know? Why are you doing this? What are you gaining? No more hee hee ha ha, no more sarcasm. Like, what's wrong? I'm sorry that your parents hit you. Let's talk. And it doesn't make sense. And it won't make sense to us because we've healed from that. So we look and just go heal. It's not as simple as that. Think back to when you first had a heal. That's the cycle that you get stuck in as someone who thinks that they're healed. You think, oh, anyone can do it. Not everyone can. Not everyone knows how to actually. Some people truly just don't know how to. That's why we're here, collective. But the ones that have healed were here to help others heal. They don't know how to. Us removing ourselves in solitude and silence was supposed to show them how to heal. But they don't know what we do. And that's for us to know because our issues are different from theirs. We went in solitude to find out how we heal. We don't do drugs all the time. We don't fucking, like, go out and have sex all the time or use other vices. We sit and we really just, we think. And we lay in bed and we shiver and we shake, we cry, we throw up. Thinking about these things, of course. But we heal. And no matter how hard it is, we heal from it. But you had to put a boundary between these people. And Spirit, you, you can laugh a bit. These people are very trapped. They're hopeful, but they're trapped. They're stuck in a continuous cycle. And that's why they're hopeful. Because at least they know next time it happens what to do. But it's like... There's always a next time. That's the thing. That's the one thing that God promised there will always be another chance. God doesn't give up. God does not give up on a single fucking soul on this earth. God will always be there. God will always protect. God will always help. God will always love. But it's up to the person if they really, really want to. And it's scary. Because just like healing, you're putting faith into something that you've never done before. And you're doing it by yourself. <laughs> These people have addictions. They have... Maybe they just have a bad life. Maybe these people actually killed someone. Maybe these people... You know... They, they have things in their life that we collective will never understand or have to deal with. And that's okay. That's not for us to worry about. We can't focus on what they have or haven't gone through. We need to focus on ourselves, and that's all that truly matters. Is there anything else that's Yeah. And stagnant. I don't want to read because it says we have legal underneath and possibilities. Yeah, this is another reason why these people are scared because they know what they've done can get them in legal issues. And they're just stuck. They're just stuck. I didn't expect this reading to get this deep already on the second deck. Um, but this is the, this is the what's the vibe deck if you want to get it. I just feel like showing these decks as well because you never truly know. Um, these are really cool decks. 
Yeah, I'm gonna use the panther. This is a different reading, I know it is. Um, but mama. Whew, goodness, let me just tell you something. Not everything has to be about black magic or dungeons and dragons or escape or yeah with death. Not everything has to be about like, oh, someone tried to run you over last week. No, this is real shit. Everything we talk about on this channel is real shit. But we're gonna talk about the things that no one talks about. Truly no one talks about. Everyone talks about weird shit and violence and magic and worlds of fantasy. But no one talks really about like getting down and dirty. Getting down and fucking doing the work, you know? Yeah, you're a sweetheart. Child. Baby, you're a sweetheart. With that being the first energy out, everyone knows that you're a sweetheart. Everyone knows that, like, you don't deserve it. <sighs> but they just feel like it's fair. It's like they have some sort of vendetta against their own life, and they're, like, letting it seep onto you. It's just not okay. Is there nothing else in here, spirit? Just sweetheart? It's- you can keep talking, spirit. It's fine. I'm good. Baby, you know how I am. You know. Yeah, they're overloaded. Your family... is even overloaded. Mama, like, look. Everyone's overloaded. <laughs> about you just being a sweetheart still. It's like, there's no, it's... I wouldn't even say, because here's the thing, bond, yeah, they're bound to whatever, but it's like, they're, they're screaming no, and they're screaming God damn it and fuck and all this shit, because it's like, well, they don't want to be seen in that way. They thought that they, they don't want to be seen as a bad person. But all because they couldn't control their emotions. They don't want to be seen as like a monster. And it sucks. But they did it. If they don't want to be seen in a light that they aren't comfortable with, then why would they do it? It's the same for us. We, why the fuck would we attack these people? That's not saying that we're better. Why the fuck would we attack these people? They're scared. I'm like... Yeah, curse and illness. They're cursed with an illness. That's what they get. Anyone that teamed up. And that's just part of the justice. The illness is a mental illness. It's this, it, this disease, weakness. The curse is not being able to live a solid life anymore it's too much weight I don't care if you're spiritual or not it's too much weight I don't care if you believe in karma or whatever the fuck you're not gonna be able to move on because you know who what you did to this person and you know why they aren't talking to you And you know that you were relaxed the whole time that you were causing them endings in their life. You were trying to make them live in a nightmare. You were calm and okay doing it. And you just can't live in your own flesh anymore. Even if you have a soul, even if you sold your soul or whatever, your soul does not like your flesh. And it's like, I went out. I don't like it. I don't like what this thing's doing. This is not who I am. And it's not who you are. You're not a horrible person. The fuck? You can put on all the masks that you want. You can put on every single mask that you want. You're not who you think you are. You're not this fucking weird monster. But yet you act like it. So of course you're going to be seen as it. And of course everyone now is going to call you that. 
you've deserved the titles of negativity that people throw at you, that people will lash out at you. You deserve the homelessness, the no one caring about you. Because you're a fucking bully in your adult years. You deserve all this stress. And Collected deserves all this sweet dreams and help. It's just the truth. Luck is on your side. You're the jackpot, child. They knew you're the jackpot. They knew you were the jackpot. So out of ego, they try and keep you stuck still. They want to keep you blind. Oh, you know, ha ha, tee hee, tee hee, kee hee. We'll pat on your back and tell you to go do something. And keeping you in fucking third wheels, just being enemies to you. Acting like they really support you while meanwhile joking about you in the back just because you're an introvert. Because you're different. Because you like being alone. Who cares? These people are guilty. They feel guilty. No matter how what they do. Why do you think these people stay high and drunk all the time? Because they can't fucking do shit. These friends. Yeah. Mama. All these friends trying to rob you. Being unfair. Being assholes to you. And they think that you're going to give them anything. Yeah, they de <laughs> They think that you're going to give them anything. Because you promised them something. You're not going to give them shit. <laughs> They'll be lucky if you give them the penny that you found on the floor last week. They'll be lucky you give them a tip. You. They will be lucky that you look them in the eyes. They'd be lucky. Will you, you actually looking this person in the eyes? For a split second is luck. Complete luck. You giving these people any amount of attention is luck. That's their new luck. They knew that you were talented. But they didn't want you to be calm. They wanted you. They were okay with it. It's just that's the worst part. Is they're okay with doing this shit. And they don't think that's going to look bad on them. No one likes these people. I'll give you a tip. I'll give you the truth as well. Why do you think that these people. the These so called friends. Why do you think they're all miserable? Why do you think they all do the same thing? Why do you think they're all addicted to drugs? Why do you think they're all fucking running around jacking each other off because no one likes them and it makes them feel good that another low life like them likes them a little bit that's why they're around each other because all these people have nothing going for them in their life they might have the materialistic shit but no one cares these are the losers these are the kids the, the quote unquote popular ones in high school that got made fun of these are the flukes and flozies, the flunkies. These are the losers, and they're pissed off. They're losers. You live and you learn, though. You're the loser. You're the 53-year-old loser. You're the 29-year-old loser. You're the 35-year-old loser. You're the fucking 91-year-old loser. I don't know. You're a loser. You're not winning, are you? What? What? It's the truth. I'm telling you, it's the truth. You want to... <laughs> like, you, what, you, don't like, you don't like being called a loser? Then start winning. Stop being a bitch. Pull up your pants and start winning. You don't want to be called a loser. You don't want to be called a loser. Don't be a fucking loser. Stop losing shit. You don't want to be a loser. Stop losing your mentality. Stop losing your sanity. Stop losing your energy. Stop losing friends. <laughs> I ain't here to poke buttons. I'm here to tell the truth. It's the cold hard truth. No one likes to hear it. But I'll be the first fucking 24 year old to tell you 52 year old <laughs> that you need to buckle your pants down and do some shit in your life. <laughs> okay. I'll be the first I'll be the first youngin to look you in the eyes and say that to you. We got high honor, gift, imprisonment, and poverty. Mama. Mm-hmm. You're held in high honor because you're a gift. 
And again, these two cards, the only thing that these people have to look forward to is imprisonment and poverty. These people could be between the ages of 29 and 37. These people could be between the, uh, 29 and, 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 and 52, my bad, 29 and 52 could be the ages. God forbid 71, what the fuck are you doing at 71 years old doing this shit? Get a grip. Grandma, grandpa, you're about to hit the grave. And you're spending your last days on this earth like being pissed off still? Honey, <laughs> bro, <laughs> honey, chill. And they, and the imprisonment again, and for you smart asses out there, doesn't mean, oh, I'm not in jail. No, you're in a mental prison. You're not, you're not, you're not getting out. Like you're stuck. You're imprisoned. You're stuck. You're in poverty. You're in lack. You're not gaining. You're losing. Wake up. To the whole community of people stuck and losing in the distant horizons because the path they chose privileged lady what happens to you you can expect whew, oh because they were ex oh damn yeah someone's in bad health you might get a message of concern of something in bad health probably that's what you could look forward to main mail might be hitting the coffin soon Maybe the bad news is that something is fully ending in this main male's life and they're going to have to break that news to you. Could be a house. Heard something about a mortgage. Could be something about the morgue as well. Ooh. But they're going to break some... No, it's about a house. Bad health and great fortune. Yeah, someone's just sick in the stomach. Someone's going to go homeless. Someone's going to lose their house. Meanwhile, you have great fortune. They want you to help them. Because they're in despair. Oh, I don't want to go homeless. And they're a thief. Go homeless. Collective has money. Of course they do. They don't owe you a damn dime. <laughs> you think you're owed something? No. Hell no. This mature man's in their thoughts. About a child. You the child. Hello? Man, they're like, here's the thing. These people are given silver spoons and golden spoons their whole life. It's about time they walk on their own two feet, right, Collective? That ain't being mean. It's being fair. What, you don't wanna you don't wanna do what everyone else has to do on this earth? But you wanna be mean, which is what the majority of the population does on this earth. Okay. All right. Live in live in your own little world, I guess, honey. We'll be over here, and you can stay over there. And your codependency, honey. Judication. Lovers. Child. Ooh. End pathway. Judication and lovers. This could be a divorce. Someone could get, some, this could just be you uh, getting ch custody over your child. This could be just a divorce because of a child, not because of a child, but you know, someone don't want a child, you want the child, you know, you know, the fuck, you know, you know how people are. This could just be two people getting a divorce um, because they got married for money to try and do something to a child. Um, and now they under judgment, heavy judgment, like, like, they, like, come on. Like, the judge is looking at these people, the judge is looking at these people like, okay, like, all right, what have you done? What are we doing here? Like, again? Tool, yeah, tool and labor and expectation, occupation, coffin. People, like, yeah, people are expecting, like, to lose their jobs soon. People are expecting to just lose what they do, like, you play stupid games, you get stupid prices. In the distant horizon, you can expect that. There's a mature male that's with the false person, and they're getting this message. They got nothing to gain and everything to lose because of this pathway they went on. They're fucking concerned because they're going to go to court. And that's the message of concern, that these people are going to court. 
They don't care. They don't give two shits. But you know what? They're gonna have to look at you at the under at the other end of that podium and be like, damn. Like I did all that to you. <laughs> and now everyone in this courtroom knows I did that to you. Uh your honor, I plead the fifth. Someone's gonna act someone's gonna pull out like oh, I'm fainting. Why the fuck did I sell my fucking um <laughs> Why the fuck did I just sell my grim? <laughs> Oh man, that's good. Thank you, Spirit. I don't think I'm gonna be using all the decks. I know I said that, but Mama, it's already been an hour. I, I'll go. I'll mind it. I'll fuck it. No, I said I was. I said I was. I don't have to go as hard as I have to, but someone. Uh, I think I'm fainting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have mental issues. You can't do this to me. They can, and they will. They'll throw you into slammer, trust me. <laughs> They're like, oh no, you're mentally fine, baby. You you did all that. The Knight of Pentacles, it takes a lot of work to do that. You might not be uh, fit for society mental, uh, mentally sane, but you're mentally sane enough to know right from wrong. Yeah. Yeah, Tin Foji War. Yeah. 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 I mean, shit. Ace of Disc Reverse. Eight of Pentacles reversed. You lost. You lost. No gifts for you. You don't get the gifts. You didn't put any work into it. You misused what you had. Your charisma down the drain. Your masks down the drain. Your 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 mask to hide your emotions down the drain. Two is sword reverse, magician reverse. Manipulation. Indecision. Not knowing what the fuck to do is their energy. But oh, how are we gonna manipulate this situation to go in our way? I don't have money to, to bribe anyone anymore, and all my friends are leaving me, and everyone's walking away, and my dreams aren't coming true, and I feel bad for the past, but I'm not gonna let anyone see it. Cool. Queen of Cups, you don't gotta do shit. You're emotionally balanced, and you're good as fuck. You're fine. Keep swimming. Stay open to change. Heal from any past resentment that you have, honey. I don't know why I heard baby boo-boo child. Maybe your mom or aunt called you that. I don't know. I I, I channel some of y'all's ancestors and pass on loved ones a lot. I'm just gonna let them come through on this one, which a lot of them have so far. Um, but... Whew, goodness gracious. Yeah! They're pissed off. Things are stopping for these people. They didn't expect their whole life to get flipped upside down. They didn't expect to be in poverty. <laughs> they did not at all expect to be in poverty for bullying you for flipping your life upside down. And they're, oh, I can't wait for them to do this to me because then I have X, Y, and Z to do them to them back. Okay, premeditator. That's fucking weird, isn't it? You like to premeditate, don't you? You like you like to stalk your prey before you attack, huh? Ew, who's the biggest tiger in the in the jungle? <laughs> they can't move on. They're stuck. Because you learned a lesson. And that lesson was not to fucking retaliate quickly. Your lesson was to not jump on a bandwagon full of fucking cocksuckers and feet kissers. And seem like you're cool, but be a dirty little thing for everyone else. Yeah, you get the rest. This tower isn't for you. This tower is for this three of uh, this, these three of cups, these friends. You get the rest. These people. This is what's blocking them. By the way, you're you're on the other side of this tower, asleep. This could also mean a pain, a permanent ending, like a painful ending. I feel like that's the tower note for these people as well, just endings. Something like, it's three people getting it. Three to twelve people getting it. Who are in this group. 
four for sure. There are four people. One, one's uh, what is it like, AFK? Um, <laughs> so they're not doing it to you, but they're definitely doing it to you. Out of ego, and this is the truth. I'm not here to shit. This is the truth. Like they're whether they go to actual jail, whether they go to spiritual jail. Whether they go to purgatory or they just straight up kill themselves, honey. They're getting their karma. And I don't mean to be mean and say it that blunt, but like at this point, it's the truth. At this point, it's just the truth. These people contemplate killing themselves. Let's just get down to it. You were going to go homeless at one point. You wanted to do that to yourself. So, of course, these people are going to do that same thing and think about that. Oh, and I'll just do this. I don't want to do, I don't want to deal with that shit. I'll just do this if I got to go to jail or this or that. Okay. I'm sorry you feel that way. I'm really sorry that you do. No one deserves to feel that way, but that's not going to help you. I don't mean to even laugh about that at the end there, but... That karma is going to follow you to the next lifetime. You're carrying too much on your soul. You'll reincarnate. You're not like an earth angel that decides to come down to this realm to help people. You are a mortal. And you will reincarnate until you heal. We're here to help you heal. We come down here on our own volition. We write contracts to know how to heal from X, Y, and Z. How to do A, B, and C. A lot of our souls sign up to get, you know, took out of this world in very horrible ways because there is always a need to heal. And if these people's souls signed up to do that, <laughs> to have a whole apex moment of like 20, 30, 40 years of their life up to this one moment, to where they just pull the Mm, you know what I mean and leave this planet then that's the, that's what they signed up to do they signed up for it they wanted to know how to heal from it they they chose their path and ain't no one it ain't no one's fault but theirs so don't be mad at God the, the, the God that gives you free will <laughs> be mad at yourself for being stupid <laughs> and allowing your free will to take you down this path. Ain't no, no one collective didn't tell you to do it. You know who did tell you to do it? The devil. That little karmic that you listen to. The one that, oh, we can easily do this. We'll just be an asshole to this person. Yeah, the one that wanted to be a manipulative little bitch. I mean, let's get that word out. Do a queen of cups. To a Queen of Cups, yeah, let's give a Queen of Cups a nightmare and then we'll make them feel like they're the issue. No, mama, no, 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 because just because they didn't give to you, just because the collective didn't give to you, mind you, the first person ever that collective hasn't given to and they learned their lesson, they get to move on. Imagine that. You could have, you could have had it. That's the thing, that's the kicker, that's a really rolls. You could have had it, you could have. You could have had a life of joy, a life of luxury. But you chose to be a dirty little rat. And dirty little rats go on mouse traps and get stuck because they want cheese. Because <laughs> you're greedy. Now you get the ten of wands because you're greedy. And then Collective gets a, queen, a king of pentacles. A king of cups. King of pen. I mean, period. I hope you do get a king of pentacles, but you get a king of cups upright. Someone who's emotionally balanced. Either this is your masculine and feminine energies balanced out, or this is a relationship that you want. But you get it. Of course you do. You're no longer in the same vibrational energy as these people. <laughs> You're somewhere else. On your own little area. Of course we live on the same earth, but we are on different vibrations. You're not depressed. You're not stressed out having anxiety, not sleeping at night. You're not looking up the occult things and trying to do the next fucking spell on the fucking on the wiki how to do list that you saved in your bookmarks. You're pretty fucking happy. 
and you're pretty stable. Doesn't matter how stable you are, you're 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 energetically getting there, you're mentally getting there, you're emotionally getting there. So you're putting in the work. Of course, God's gonna help you. But how much? Uh, you're putting in work. And progress is happening. Don't demand it to happen faster. Remember to withdraw and listen to your inner voice. Because a lot of us are entrepreneurs. We're natural born leaders. And we're slowly getting there. And the leap is here. So just take that leap. Okay. I'll be I'll be the one to tell you. Spirit had me yawn and detox. Because it's time to use a different deck. Um, I don't even remember the name of this tarot deck. I'm not even going to lie. Oh, I forgot to even. This is the Kipper. <laughs> In case. Is there anything else, Spirit, you want to say? Or are we just going to talk about this one topic? I don't really care either way because... Energy is very calm and very serene right now. 11 11. 1 11 11 when I look down. That's kind of crazy. That's really crazy. Because I'm still looking at loss. Or, no, I'm looking at all of them. I've been talking about all of them. Loss is just a really big subject. Give me three cards, Spirit, from the Sacred Symbols. Um. Oracle. This is what it looks like. I fucking love this deck. But I don't read from the booklet, which is what I'm going to do now. So give me three cards. Spirit. Magic. <laughs> Truth. And Veil. And then Luck fell out too. Eh. <sighs> You really just, like, you're just resonating with it, so I have to. I'm sorry. But we have new life. We have magic, new life, truth, veil, and lucky. So, magic. You are a magic. Oh, you are a magical being. Time to stop hiding the awe-inspired abilities you have to connect to the divine. Drawing the pinnacle invites you to connect with your personal magic on a deeper level at this time working with the phases of the moon in ritual with herbs candles crystals and spell work are some of the ways we can connect our magic to, on the physical plane to the ethereal realms find what suits you best with love and with harm to none that's the tip with love and no harm to none if you are inquiring about a relationship or situation take heart there is something quite special here Proceed with curiosity and wonder as the situation begins to unfold in the most unique of ways. Meditate on the pinnacle when you want to draw in the power of the elements to protect your energy and or sacred space. I'm going to keep this out because I didn't know about that. <laughs> you learn everything new. I love this book. We have, oh, we have new life. The arrival of a new beginning or the beginning of a start of something beautiful and long-lasting drawing this card could indicate a need or desire to start over with a sense of childlike wonder what are you beginning what you are beginning will have a strong impact and far reach drawing this card in can indicate a positive relationship and or experience we have truth a great truth will come to light a secret will be revealed your feelings regarding a situation, uh, you, the, your feelings regarding the situation you are being, you are, you are asked about, are true. Your feelings regarding the situation you are asking about are true. There we go. Stand by your per personal truth, no matter what, and you will be rewarded. At this is a time to let your authentic self shine. You have much to express. Your voice is needed. Meditate on this when you want more authenticity in your life and want clarity regarding a person and or situation. We have veiled. All is not being revealed at this time. Is someone around you hiding or holding back information or aspect of themselves? Please use cautious in proceeding, or perhaps the mask is inviting you to be more protective of what you share. Draw another card for clarity in your next right action 
Uh, you can meditate on the mats to achieve altered states of awareness and encourage hidden abilities to rise to the surface of your consciousness. I'm gonna take you out too. <laughs> I need to read this book more often, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, and then we have Lucky. You've got the Midas touch. Everything you touch turns to gold at this time. Enjoy this winning streak you are on. Meditate on this when you need an extra boost of being in the right place at the right time kind of energy. Period. Period. I love this deck. I would highly recommend it. It's beautiful. Um... I don't want to use any of the other tarots I have. Sorry. I know I said I was, but I just don't want to now. I'm going to use... I'm not... Because I don't need to use the demon deck. Why the fuck do I need... Like, why would I even need to use the demon deck? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> I ain't got... <laughs> I ain't got time to fuck with those men right now. Uh-uh. Um, we're going to use the gateway to light activation. This one... Okay. I love this deck. I did a three card pull for the one that bought it for me. And oh my god. Wow. Just wow. Like this is this deck is still very new. I haven't even looked at all the cards yet. And I gotta do that though, you know, loosen up the cards, make sure they don't stick together too much. Oh, so we have Crown Chakra Upgrade, Divine Connection, Holy Experiences, and Marvelous Energy. Let me get two more cards, Spirit. That is more than two, but we'll take the top one. It's Seraphim's Gateway. Uh, voice Activation, Angelic Attunement, Divine Support. I love Seraph. See, that's, that's confirmation for me. That's all I'm going to say. Oh! And then we have Ancestral Realm, Karmic Release, Healing the Lineage, and bond, uh, Bondage, Boundaries, not Bondage. <sighs> Did we take the bottom? We'll take the bottom. Fuck it. We'll do four. Um, whoa. Sorry, the one underneath that's kind of cool as fuck, too. I wanted to look at all these cards at some point. I just haven't had time to. <laughs> my child, my inner child is blowing up right now. But Orion Activation, Supernova Recreation, Renewal, Rebirth by the Light. Oh my god, these are powerful cards. What the fuck? Damn. Damn. Uh. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> so we have Ancestral Realm, which is 40. I skipped it. <laughs> I'm getting so giddy. This is good energy. This is good, fresh energy. Um, we're gonna, I only, I'm only gonna read what the message is. Holy shit, this is a big message. But here's the card, because I gotta hold the book up. Um, this card indicates healing on all levels. Initiate, this card initiates healing on all levels. But particularly, particularly on the family line, there may be some ideas or beliefs in your family that you find limiting or negative. Know that they need not to be your inner truth. You have the opportunity to go beyond the challenging energies of your family lineage. If you are particularly challenged in a particular challenging time or facing energies that are harsh or, e or even uh, and even overwhelming, goodness, <clears throat> the energy of your ancestors are with you now. They are here to hold a sacred and safe space so that you can rest. Your ancestors are surrounding you now. They are here to seek forgiveness for any harmful decision that was made without your full awareness and for any negative side effects those are having on you now. If you have found that a particular family member has just been difficult or a relationship has been negatively impacting because of situations or ideas that stem from past, know a great cleansing is taking place at this time. The omniant the ointment, <laughs> the omniant, the ointment for the wound is the energy of forgiveness. This isn't about accepting what 
happened was fine, but realizing the energies of the past no longer govern your present. It's about choosing to create your own happiness and live from your own heart. Keep your boundaries strong, but be open to carving out a new path. Period. We have Crown Chakra Upgrade, which is 58. And here's the card. I love these cards. This is called the Gateway of the Light Activation Oracle. I fucking love it. I'm gonna, yeah, there you go. There's there's the whole title. Um, I'm gonna read what it says on the inside of the box too, because it says something. But your message, your crown chakra has been upgraded. Yay! The spiritual connections you have always had are now being acknowledged. The parts of yourself that have run that you have run from or ignored are being reclaimed. This is an important time for you are uncovering gifts and wisdom and moving through healing. You may have experienced moments that tested your faith and your belief in the divine. Know that it's okay and no grievances are being held against you. The Holy Spirit is with you and within you. This is a coming home to your truest self. You are also being encouraged to prepare yourself for miracles. Expect to experience wonders and blessings. If you are being surrounded by a healing, for you to be surrounded by a healing light, divine encounters in the holy experience are happening around you. If you have had a challenging relationship with spirituality or religion in the past, this has now been healed and you can move forward in an authentic way. Experiencing the divine on a personal level and beyond the limitations of a necessary dogma. Thank God you are connected. I hate dogma. I don't hate much on this realm, but dogma, ooh. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Orion activation 115. <laughs> I would turn me into a dog. God, Lord, help me. <laughs> Here's the card. I'm over here acting a fool already. Y'all already know. It's fucking energy's through the roof. We love this shit. Your message. All of your fears are set and setbacks are being stripped from your energy now. Oh, thank God. I claim I claim this I claim this whole reading in the name of Jesus. Amen. Um, it is essential for your old ways of being to fall away for you to go through a process of renewal in order to move forward. The old stories of your life aren't yours to live out or live up to. You are far greater than those limiting experiences. The beings of Orion are surrounding you now and they see you as one of them. Oh my God, thank you. Someone who has been born in the knowledge that they can live with a great purpose and make a real difference in the world. Whether on a global scale or on a particular corner of the planet, when you draw this card, you are being reminded that you have infinite star potential. A Jack or Jane of all trades. That plus part wasn't in the book. I just wanted to say that because mama, it's the truth. We have Seraphim's Gateway as the last one, which is 124. I love these decks so much. Visualize yourself immersed in golden light. Then say, thank you, mighty Seraphim, for blessing me with your loving presence and supporting me in awakening the angelic qualities I have within. Oh, wow. That, that was how to connect to the card? Oh, fuck. I got, okay, listen, I'm missing. Let me, let me read through these cards and shit, and I'll get, like, I didn't know that you could, wow. I, okay, Spirit wants you to connect to the seraphims, so do that. Rewind it if you got to, and just listen to what I say when you imagine that shit, but we're gonna, oh, your message is, you are blessed to receive the light of the seraphim. Know that these blessings of infinite light are singing your name in the heavens to unlock the power of your own voice. Angelic support surrounds you at this time. Know that you are safe, for you are being held by the presence of love. The seraphim are witnessing the glory of your being and activating your angelic qualities. You care deeply about the welfare of the planet and all her beings. In fact, you are hoping to make great difference in the world, and the reason for it, 
And the reason for this is you carrying angelic light. Let it shine on the world around you. Amen. Amen. So inside the box, it says, as above, so below, so within, as without. Connections to heaven and earth through the stargate of your heart. I call forth from within the light of source. Thank you for standing at my forefront of my heart and mind. Thank you for activating the ancient wisdom of my soul. I welcome the support of heaven, earth, the stars, light beings, and beyond. And so it is. This is such a beautiful deck. This energy it comes with is unlike. Wow. I love it. I love I really love this deck. I gotta I gotta go play with it. <laughs> I'm gonna go play with it sometime. <laughs> We're gonna get your angel, uh your power angel tarot tarot deck, your archangel power power tarot. I can't say that. That's crazy. Tongue twisters. Speech impediments. Here's what it looks like. This is one of my, this is my first angel deck I got, believe it or not. Um, I have another channel that I'm not, that um, I'm not able to upload to at the moment because it's on my computer and I don't have internet. But whenever I get it back, you best believe I'm gonna do all my angel shit on that. But the channel is called Your Guardian Angel. If you want to go check it out, you can. It's very early, like very new on the Spiritual Journey Me videos. But they're not bad. They There's just me using these decks, the angel decks, and like helping y'all out with those. So I will definitely, I'll be doing that and pushing the angel cards to that deck, uh, to that channel as well. Because that one's strictly just for angel messages and support. This one, I'm going to try and keep more tarot and esotericism. Um... I'm gonna upload like meditation music that I make as well to this channel at some point. Um, we're, 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 we're growing, we're growing. Cause there's, I do more than just one thing and I really want like it all to shine out. You know what I mean? Okay, y'all woulda pop, y'all woulda pop out, cool. I'm gonna shuffle three more times. <laughs> it's, it's come to my attention that the cards just don't shuffle in like that, I just toss them to the side and let them do their thing. Uh-oh, not my phone being on 15%. I might not be able to do the angel cards. Fuck. Well, if I do, I won't be able to read them out. Shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get through this really quick. Because <laughs> I, I want to get it all out. We have the five of Michael. The situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. We have the six of Michael. The light at the end of the tunnel. Make breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans. Relocation or travel. Oh, period. The Queen of Raphael. Kind, understanding, giving, and psychic. Follow your heart. A love of home and family. Trustworthy psychic information. Nine of Raphael. Make a wish. Dreams become reality. A joyful time of life. The Knights of Arion. Successful, stable, accomplished, and powerful. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success. Using resources wisely. The Page of Raphael. Gentle, loving, dreamy, and open-hearted. A new emotional situation. Messages regard regarding relationships or social invitations. Great intuitive insights. Ace of Gabriel, a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration. The chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. Seven of R.I.L., you have invested wisely. Be patient and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. Mama, I just did. Thank you, spirits and angels. And the page of Gabriel, energetic, brave, optimist, and playful. Follow your passion. You are true. You are ready for any challenge. <laughs> Opportunities for excitement and adventure. The three of Gabriel. Prosperity arising from wise planning. Take the time. Take to time to take the next step. Goodness. Optimistic plans that turn out as expected. Hell yeah. The page of Ariel. Reliable, clever, educated, and balanced. 
an excellent opportunity will be offered for you. Scholarships are the pursuit of education. Time to get to work. The two of Raphael, two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits, don't give up on those you love. The three of Raphael, reasons to celebrate. A community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationship or children. Last but not least, the Ten of Gabriel. Damn, we're ending with the Ten of Pentacles, buddies. Ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. Working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. We're going to get your Archangels. I'm going to shuffle five times. So, Spirit, let them come out as they need to. Okay, thank you, Spirit. So we begin off with Jeremiah, new beginnings, starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. Uh, the Magician with Raziel. You can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear. Successful beginnings. Justice with Archangel Raguel. Fight for justice and equalities. Rulings made in your favor and don't give up. The Chariot with Archangel Metatron, Determination and Self-Control, Career Advancement, Acknowledgement of Success by Others. Okay, The World with Archangel Michael, a very happy ending, coming full circle, spiritual growth and insight. And The Moon with Archangel Hanael, this opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance, face your fears and grow stronger. Period. Oh, I put you on the wrong box. The two Gabriel wants to show up to make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people that share your vision. Period. Period. We love that. I don't know why I'm sounding like a parrot. <laughs> I don't know why that reminded me. Why did that voice remind me of a parrot? Okay, let's go, spirit. <laughs> we'll talk about that some other time then. <laughs> I'm going to get you your angel message. Did I get these already? I did not. I did not. I'm having flashbacks to earlier today. <laughs> oh no. Does that mean you're holding old energy? Don't do this to me. Okay. Jesus. Jumping jock. Oh, speed. What the fuck? I got a lot to say today. Uh, they're like, yeah. I don't have my angel bracelet on, so I don't even hear them like talking. <laughs> but I like, you know, we have balance. Thank you, angels, for bringing my life into balance. Archangel Joe, I feel. Honor your beauty. Thank you, Joe, I feel, for helping me discover my inner and outer beauty. Spiritual gifts with Archangel Raziel. Thank you, Raziel, for helping me channel my gifts and talents. Love and accept yourself. Thank you, angels, for lovingly guiding me to self-acceptance. Honor yourself. Honor your feelings with Archangel Hanael. Thank you, Aunt Hanael, for supporting me as I honor my emotions. Leap of faith. I am ready to take a leap, angels. Thank you for doing it with me. Trustworthy friends, thank you angels for surrounding me with people I can trust and love. Inner power with the Divine Ma uh, Father. Divine Father, thank you for co-creating my world with me. The miracle of forgiveness, Archangel Jeremiah. Thank you, Jeremiah, for helping me understand the process of forgiveness. Your, uh, shine your light with Archangel Uriel. Thank you, Uriel, for helping me to share my light with the world. You are protected with none other than Mark, Archangel, Mark, <laughs> not Mark, Archangel Michael. <laughs> Sorry, Michael. Thank you, Michael, for surrounding me with your protective light. <sighs> Calm down, sister. Loved one in heaven. Thank you, loved ones in heaven, for drawing close at this time. Study and learn. Thank you, angels, for allowing me to see that every day is a learning day. Connect with music. Thank you, angels, for inspiring me through music. 
we have Speak Your Truth with Archangel Gabriel. Thank you, Gabriel, for speaking with me. In, uh, integrity for speaking with integrity. Thank you, Gabrielle, for helping me speak with integrity. Gabrielle, you're helping me, but I'm just not receiving it very well. <laughs> Signs for heaven. Thank you, heaven, for sending me reminders of your presence. Unconditional love with the Divine Mother. You have the Divine Mother and the, mo the Father and the Mother. That's amazing. Thank you, Divine Mother, for helping me give and receive the love I desire. And take a step back. Thank you, angels, for helping me step back from what is not serving me. A.K.A. me making this reading longer than I needed to make it. <laughs> um... One day I will do a whole like big shebang, but I feel like this, the message I gave out just didn't need like three tarot run over, well, four tarot run overs and all that shebang. But goodness, that's just the energy switch. I, it was not the reading. I was also going to give like a really happy, like happy go lucky, but then the energy went like really dark and serious and the angels had to bring it back up. I'm not going to read from the angel book this time. Um, we're just going to use these angels as they are. Um, just for just simplicity's sake, um, I am wanting to just crash and go bed by two. Um, but I will. Um, but I am going to be working. Oh, wow. But I am going to be working on that video that actually explains my past. Um, because, like, it's important. Just for people to know that they're not alone on this crazy journey. Because a lot of crazy shit has happened to me too that I don't even understand. <gasps> Damn, Michael, sh pull through. Michael, pull through. Pull. Hey, I see you. I see you, Michael. <laughs> Who was like God. Perseverance, success in conflict, overcoming adversary. I see you, Michael. I get you. I see you. You over there. You can't see where I'm pointing, but I got my Michael amulet um, that I've been wearing recently. Um, cleansing it. I see you, Michael. I see you. I love when Michael pops up. I really do. Michael changes the energy for me. We have Vassaria, Vassaria, God the Just, Clemency and Equilibrium, uh, protects against attacks in the courts. I'm not going to be saying these angels' names right because I'm not looking at the book. Um, my apologies. Uh, Melahel, God deflecting evil, healing capacity, protection from weapons, safety in travel. Rehael, the quickly forgiving God, love and submission, cures illness, influences parental love, gives long life. Lelahel, the praiseworthy God, uh, light, light up understanding, acquires knowledge, and cures illness. And last but not least, Anuel, the gentle God. Perception of unity protects against accidents and heals the sick. Um, that is the reading. Um, I love all of you all so much. To the moon and back again. Thank you all so much for 10k. That's. I love. I love that I'm able to reach all these all y'all and yeah. It's just, I, it's shown on how much I need to work on on myself, which you've probably even been seeing me, like, responding to less people on, on, on like, streams and stuff to, like, help me keep focus, and it's like, those are things I want to do, because I like giving people attention. <laughs> I need not to. <laughs> um, but, regardless, I love each and all of you to the moon and back, truly and always. Um... If you're new and you like the vibe, hit subscribe and the bell. Um, to be notified whenever I post videos, go live or post on a community tab. If you would like a personal reading, meditation music, which is being played in the back right now, sigils or runes that I'm going to be posting soon on the community tab for y'all. I've been slacking on that, I know, but I've just been busy and all get out. So I'm getting used to, I'm getting, I'm getting there. Um, or just to be part of the group chat that we have, hit my email up. It's in the description of all my videos, all my live streams, and in the description of the channel for those who don't know where it would be. 
Um, if you would like to donate, we have links in the description, pay, PayPal, Cash App, Venmo. We also have stickers that you can get, uh, do the super stickers or whatever, super chats, or be a member of the channel. Regardless, if you can't do any of that, your energetic donations mean the world to me. The likes, comments, shares, and subscribes, because that's how we get the messages out. That's how we heal. That's how we grow as a collective, and that's all I ask for. Um, I love you all to the moon and back so much, and I will see you all later.